to those of you joining us today. Thank you for watching the Wolverine Spotlight. I'm your host, Tyler Gates, here to bring you some positivity by talking to those around town, making big strides for the greater good. Today I'm fortunate to have with me two wood carvers, John and Ed, two new friends of mine. John and Ed, go. welcome for joining or welcome to the show today. Thank you for Thank having you. us. I will allow you to introduce yourselves because I'm, uh, I'm new to both, meeting both of you. So please, John, why don't you tell us a little bit about you? Uh, my name's John Early. I've been carving for seven years. Before that, I was uh, a carpenter. I owned my own business for 33 years and I was looking for a way to keep working with wood because of the way I liked it. I don't think uh, necessarily you have to have a background with wood and uh, to do this. But this is one thing that women do every bit as well as men and sometimes even better, uh, many times even better. So I, this is something maybe for all of us, if, you've, if you like wooden, wooden uh, uh, carvings and things like that, it's, a, it's really a good, good thing to think about. You told me uh, seven years ago when you got introduced to this, you thought you had all the right bells and whistles and tools mm -hmm. from your past mm -hmm. life, and uh, maybe that wasn't necessarily the case. That wasn't necessarily <laughs> the case. So it was a total, total changeover from what I had to the new. I think I sold a lot of the construction equipment, and now I have tools that... Uh, adorn just about every place possible on the, on the workbench. <laughs> Takes up all the space. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that, John. Thank you. And Ed, tell us about you and how long you've been carving. Well, I've been carving for a long time. I'm a retired electrical engineer. I spent 34 years at Draper Lab in Kendall Square. And I started carving when my grandson was born. And it brings up this whole story that uh, I, was car I was making a cradle for him. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to put a medallion that had a old English C engraved and gold leafed on it. Okay. And I didn't know how to do that. So I went to a Keith Gaffney, the sign maker in, on Pleasant Street in Wilburn. And I asked him, I said, I want you to do this for me. And what are you going to charge me? He said, it was $60. I said, well, that's quite a bit of money. I said, well, don't you have a sign in your window that says carving lessons? And he says, yeah. I said, well, how much are the carving lessons? He says, $5. So I said, I'll take the carving lessons. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> That's a great story. <laughs> yeah. Hey, five bucks. Five you, bucks. You make your own medallion. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then I spent like 15 years going up to, uh, to Canada to study with uh, a, a world-renowned carver by the name of Benoit Deschain. Okay. So I did that for 15 years until he closed shop. And once he closed shop, now I'm on my own. So I just kept going. Keep going. Yeah. Wonderful. And there's a lot that you guys do with the New England Wood Carvers uh, Association, I believe. Mm -hmm. Is it an association? Yes. Yeah. Um, or is it? It is. Okay. It, it, it's also incorporated in it. Okay. Uh, I want to make sure I'm calling it the right thing. A 501c3 charity yep. as well. Wonderful. And we have a, what we call a, a table, and we'll have it uh, at our uh, show this coming weekend where they auction, where they have a lot of uh, trinkets and things like that that are given to them. They later auction them off and um, contribute to the New England, not New England, but the war veterans of, uh, of the United States. And uh, they do a pretty good program with the, with the veterans. So not only do you guys make really cool stuff, you guys are helping you know, really mm -hmm. great causes. Yeah, well, a lot, of the, a lot of the people make these Christmas ornaments that get sold along the way. Yeah. And the proceeds from that go to support wow. the funds that uh, John couple, was yeah. talking about with the, uh, the veterans uh, in Bedford elsewhere also. Is that true, John? Uh, mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Very neat. So that, does that happen throughout the year typically, or is that a it little does. bit more seasonal? Yeah, it, it does, and um, it's something that, you know, everybody, um, we all enjoy having them there, and uh, they, again, they back up our veterans, and it's just a really, really good way to bring things forward. Yeah. 
Certainly. So. And so let's spend a little time talking about this weekend. I know you mentioned mm -hmm. that there will be a table there with these trinkets on it. Sunday. You Sunday. guys have an mm -hmm. event going on here in Woburn. Tell me about that. I want to hear what's going on. That's at the, uh, the Woburn Senior Center. They've been uh, good enough to host our show this year. This show will uh, benefit not only us, but also the uh, Woburn Senior Center. Um, so your proceeds are, are going to go to help as uh, many people as possible, from veterans right on up to our senior center citizens. And um, it's going to be a really good show. And uh, I think the things that people will see when they walk in the door um, are pretty amazing, and it's quite quite something for even somebody like me to walk in the door and see all the beauty that uh, these people have uh, been able to come up with and, uh, and how they pull these things together is just amazing to me. I think the first time I saw it I, I really wanted to, to carve. Mm -hmm. I knew I had to yeah. and uh, I've been quite happy ever since. Yeah, and John, John didn't tell you that uh, in one of the shows that is going by, was it Maine? Mm -hmm. John's a whale carver, okay? And he ended up carving this whale that took first place, best of the category, President's Award, mm -hmm. best of show, mm -hmm. and what else, John? I think that's about it. So <laughs> he's quite a wow. good carver himself, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And to go well, into these you. places yeah. and be inspired like that mm -hmm. must just be fulfilling too. It, it is really you, fulfilling. Some life. But I will say this, uh, because of the senior center in Woburn and other senior centers that do the same thing, we have people like Ed there who have been carving for many years and they get us from where we start off when we, when we come into this group and uh, they bring us up through so that you can eventually get to the place where you, we are able to win an award or something like that. And uh, this happens every week. I get instructions from, from uh, Ed, I get instructions from Leo. Uh, any, you know, if you have any kind of a problem, they're there to help and uh, it's just a, a super, super way to spend some time and learn at the, at the same. But we do need to encourage people to come to our show mm -hmm. Sunday. Sunday. You're going to be amazed at the carvings you see mm -hmm. and the talent that people bring. It's just incredible that uh, no matter how often you go to these things, the talent that's out there is just outstanding. It, it really is. And you really need to come and visit, walk around and see the carvings and the carving ability that people really uh, enjoy with one another. What's the date Sunday off the top of your head? The 20th. 20th, I thought? 20th, okay. yep. So the this coming Sunday, right. the 20th, mm -hmm. at what time? Uh, from 10 until 2.30 okay. uh, in the day. And it it's, should be a really just super show. And I think most anybody who even thinks they might be interested in carving uh, they can would, be surprised, huh? might get some really good ideas and be inspired to do something. And for those of you who are interested in competing mm -hmm. in the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those people who would like to compete, the opening is on Saturday from 10 to 2, where people can bring in their carvings to be competed Registered. on the following day. Okay. So I encourage anyone out there who has a carving that would like to compete it, certainly to bring it in on Saturday, mm -hmm. and we'll put it on the board with all the others. Mm -hmm. And this is something we've always been open to the public, but I think we're really pushing the idea of the public here in Woburn because of the base of uh, residential uh, people, uh, owners in um, Woburn. I think we have a really good chance to get a lot of interest there and, and inspire a lot of, lot of people. So we, ne we need some young blood as well, you know? The we're all getting old. The average age is probably up in the 70s or something. So we'd mm -hmm. like to bring in some young people to l learn to carve with us and to enjoy this craft for many years to come. 
So mm -hmm. Sunday would be a great introduction mm -hmm. for those people absolutely. that are mm -hmm. artsy in general, maybe, or uh, maybe have just that bug to become artsy mm -hmm. or to spend some time mm -hmm. and dedicate with your hands. Mm -hmm. Um, I know you mentioned the classes too, so Sunday is important. But do you mind telling us a little bit about the classes and what you were, how you teach, and what that may look well, like? Well, we, we don't have classes as uh, as such. Right? Okay. Uh, someone will come in and they may have a problem. Oh, okay. That uh, they could use some assistance with. Uh, it's more of a gathering, idea sharing. Yeah, exactly. And we do have a set up time for that. So okay. That here in Woburn, it happens to be again at the senior center and we go in every Wednesday from one to uh, f even four o'clock mm -hmm. and uh, it's just a super place for com camaraderie and people who like to do the carvings and we all pretty much stay pretty busy yeah it's a lot of fun do you guys bring I I'm a newbie obviously to this world if you can't tell do you guys bring your own tools with you? Does the senior center supply them for new people? What, what, what does that look like? Uh, most of us, uh, I would say 98% of us probably have our own tools, but I think one of the best things about carving is you can just bring a small carving knife and, a, and maybe a gouge, and uh, that's really you where you start, and then as you need them, you just increase your tools. But um, it's very inexpensive to get a few tools, uh, anywhere from $25, $35 up to maybe 60 and you're in business. Mm -hmm. And you can do a lot with, with a knife or, and then we show you how to sharpen these tools and all that, which um, is a little bit of work, but um, carving's a little bit of work. So everything, everything sort of fits in and gets you to a place where you make up your mind sooner or later that I'm really having a good time and I want to keep this up. We, we have Leo Lambert, who is sort of the heads up the group. Mm -hmm. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, did he also have a class someplace in Wakefield on Tuesdays? He does on Tuesdays. But he, come, he uh, takes people's carvings, and uh, generally I won't do, but he does. He works on their carving, okay? And generally I don't do that. Uh, I'm more than glad to share whatever knowledge I have or whatever knowledge I think that a person needs. But I generally shy away from working on people's carvings. Uh, Leo Lambert does not. He will sit there with you and take wood away. Uh, so I'm trying to encourage people to come in and even if you've got a screwed up piece, uh, someone will fix it up for you yeah. and show, or tell you how to fix it. Mm. So come on in and enjoy the bunch and we'll have a good time. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And stop in on Sunday. And stop mm -hmm. in on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So what is Sunday going to look like? I'm sure each one's a little different, but you mentioned so many different awards at the main mm -hmm. event, right? Best in Show, President's Award, Best in Class. Is there going to be a similar theme to this Sunday? Oh yes. Okay. There's uh, going to be 40, 46 tables alone, six by six feet by 30 inches devoted to the carvings themselves that come in wow. on Sunday. And uh, How many people does that take to do that amount of carving? Uh, I have uh, set up about a hundred and there's a hundred and thirteen jobs this year. Okay. And we've got about 71 people that are that are taking part in each each and every one of those jobs and some of them have two three jobs some of them have one but uh, we've got everything from a uh, crew to help with the parking mm -hmm. right up to uh, clean up and, and uh, putting the senior center back together so that they can have their own um, doings on Sunday morning, mm -hmm. uh, Monday morning, excuse me. So this is a pretty well-oiled machine. It's, yeah, it's a big show. Jo wow. John's done one heck of wow. a job this year. I have to commend him, but he's, he's really put this thing together like I don't think we've seen that kind of effort in the past. But uh, he's done a great job. He's an outstanding person. Well, I'll take all the compliments I can get. Yeah, but, keep going, Ed. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, it really is a, a team thing where everybody throws in, and the people are have been good enough to come and allow themselves to be judges or. Um, 
you know, ribbon carriers for the, for the judges or to run a table. And we're going to have vendors there as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of vendors where all this carving equipment and things is available from the little knife right up to the uh, to a whole set of carving tools. And uh, they will probably be very busy. There's a lot of things having to do with wood and uh, it's just great. It's a super place. Gonna be a lot be of fun. There'll also be someone there selling wood. Mm -hmm. yes. So if you need a piece of wood, Mm -hmm. Good place That's to come. That's a good come. place to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there a cost associated with being a part of the day? Right. The um, cost is uh, for uh, the adults, it's going to be uh, five do uh, six dollars, and the seniors are going to be three dollars. We've got to give the seniors a break, <laughs> and uh, children up to the age of 17 are free. Okay. And how about the competition cost? And the competition, whoever joins in the competition, uh, it's 10 to $15 to enter a okay. piece, and I think it's $5 a piece thereafter okay. to, um, to um, add additional pieces. And you can have up to six pieces. Up to six so, pieces. Yeah, we usually, again, we usually have about 150, 160 pieces. To, to show. Ranging in all kinds of different mm -hmm. styles, shapes, mm -hmm. everything, everything yeah. I assume. Right? From the very small to quite large and uh, right, you know, really lifelike, no matter what size it is. Okay. Uh, if it's of wildlife and anything else that they do from flowers, it, it's just beautiful. You look at a flower somebody does and you wonder how they were able to put it together. Just amazing. Well, that's what I was wondering when I looked at your pieces earlier, so that might be a good transition to kind of talk a little bit about the carvings, your mm -hmm. process, and mm -hmm. uh, maybe how long a typical carving would take somebody mm -hmm. like yourselves versus maybe an amateur. So mm -hmm. you wanted to share with us kind of what you brought? and uh, Well, I brought two things. I brought this piece. Which is beautiful. Which mm -hmm. is a, uh, a copy of a sculpture done in the... 16th century or something. Okay. It's a, it's a piece of butternut and the uh, and you start with a piece of wood. And you say, well, well, how is this going to come out? And you say, well, you got to take the wood out that doesn't belong there. That's kind of a trite statement to make, but that's really the truth. Yeah. And it certainly helps if you can see the carving all before you've done it. And you slowly begin to take the wood out and Generally, uh, you use a bandsaw if you can to mm -hmm. take, take some good chunks take out. Some good chunks out, and then you just carefully work until you've achieved something. Some resemblance of your final. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or your vision, and I should say, maybe. Yeah, mm -hmm. and. Uh, oh my! It came and, out so and, beautiful. And, and you I mind if I spin that around so everyone can see? Look at that! The detail that goes into something like that. Yeah. And this is a piece that I think this came out of uh, a carving magazine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Chris did uh, some at our other senior center that we go to that uh, looked pretty much. Yeah, actually, you copied the one I, copied I had. Yours. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we and we make these little ornaments. Uh, this is for the tree of hope. Yes, tree of hope. And the uh, those are quite simple to make. Uh, Maybe maybe a couple of hours to do that, and maybe several days to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, several you know, days, several time intensive, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's not just yeah. a few minutes here and mm -hmm. there. I, I can imagine mm -hmm. you're sitting down and going to work. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. that's right. Mm -hmm. So I, I devote a couple of hours a day to carving generally in the morning. And Mornings when you do your best work? <laughs> Mornings <laughs> when I do the best work. <laughs> And afternoons are spent doing other things. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, we are going, going to have a table at the show which shows people how to, how to do a carving like this from the time it's in the wood to the time we bandsaw it out. And you, even something like this, it might look a little difficult at this point. But you basically bandsaw the shape um, from the, uh, in this case, from the top view, and then you uh, 
start to work on it piece by piece. You'll have a drawing and you sketch on the, on the wood what you want. And uh, it doesn't have to be taken down from a blank piece of wood. Again, you've got the pretty much structure here to, to get for the carving. And then you're just rounding it out in many cases. And um, it's actually a lot simpler than it looks. But again, at the show, we're going to have a table devoted to how a carving starts out as just a piece of wood, and then it'll show the different aspects of it through the carving. Something like this probably took me about 30 hours to do from start to finish. Um, the whale over here. <coughs> um, again, you band saw the whale. Okay. Uh, I added the the um, pectoral fins, and then we get a piece of water. I happened to turn this on a lathe, and then I just carved out the top of it. Uh, there are simple ways to come up with a really good carving, like one of Ed's or, or these, that uh, don't take as much talent as we, the average person, might think. Uh, there are ways to get here, and again, we can share a lot of those ways with uh, people who might come to our weekly carving center, uh, carving sessions at the, at the Woburn Center or some of the other centers. Mm -hmm. so. so it takes a little while to get you know, up to speed, as mm -hmm. you're saying. Mm -hmm. But it, it sounds like it surprised you that uh, maybe this talent was within you mm -hmm. for, uh, when you're going to see some of these beautiful pieces you know, when you haven't carved before. Yeah. I mean, that's, it, looking from an outsider in looks mm -hmm. very, very difficult. And I'm sure it is. I um, think. But it, it may almost seem too difficult for some to even uh, take that yeah, first step. And, and we shouldn't do that. It, it isn't that difficult. The people should come. They should absolutely shot. take that first step. Absolutely. Attempt. And the thing that we all don't realize is when we're new at this, sometimes we do some things that are a lot harder than, um, than uh, might person it, that it might look to us. Uh, we don't know that we can't do these carvings and therefore we tend to do something which might be kind of hard and we, since everything was hard, we didn't realize it. Yeah. <laughs> Back your way in, right? <laughs> well, this is good. So I want to make sure we have enough time to talk a little bit again in summary about Sunday. So mm -hmm. Sunday the 20th. Sunday the 20th. 10 to 2. 10 to 2. $6 for adults, $3 for seniors. Kids under 17 are free. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you compute a prize, yeah. if you compute a piece, the entry fee includes an admission yeah, ticket it as does. well. Great to know. Good to okay. know. And so for people looking to get involved on a little bit short-term notice, I know Jan has been nice enough to share her information. She's a great contact for the New England Woodcarvers. So Jan LeClaire said, feel free to shoot her an email at jmlsings at yahoo.com. We'll make sure to throw it up there as well. But uh, any other great way to get a hold of you or just show up Sunday? Uh, just pretty much show up Sunday and okay. uh, we can show you around. <laughs> yeah, and if you don't want to show up Sunday, you can show up Wednesday. Wonderful, yeah. Great okay. point. At the Great senior point. centers. At, At the, the senior, senior centers. Right. Same place. <laughs> same place. <laughs> Different time. Yes. Yeah. Same place. Well, thank you guys for coming in. I just want to make sure we give you the floor to you know, summarize again what we've been talking about. Any, any final thoughts for our viewers? Well, Ben or John? I don't, I don't know if there are any really deep thoughts here, but uh, please kindly join us on Sunday and you'll have the time of your life. I like that. Mm -hmm. Any comments? That's hard to talk. No, I, well, I, about the same thing. I'm I think if you take the time to come, you'll uh, be amazed to the extent that uh, you may want to take up some carving. Looking forward to it, guys. Thank you for coming in, sharing your story, telling us about your beautiful art. Look forward to seeing you Sunday. Well, thanks for having us. All right. mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you all for joining us today on another episode of the Woburn Spotlight. Uh, the Woburn Spotlight, excuse me. There's a blooper for you. Uh, join us again next time. Mm -hmm.